Hey everyone, so what we've got here in front of you, the screen, is our workout plan. So for part one, what we're doing are five exercises. This first one is a curl and butterfly. If you feel like you need to do a little bit more, you could do from your knees to add that balance challenge. So you have to really engage your core while doing it from a kneeling position. What we're going to follow this up with is a side and a reverse lunge which you could do along the ground if your knees are a little sore. Maybe you can do a step down and a lateral step with your exercise here. Or you could separate these two depending on how you're feeling today. What I'm going to follow this up with is a six-way punch and reach. You can do a little twist of the body reaching for those six locations or you can remove the twist and just go for the different punches. Maybe the shoulders are a little sore so you only do those in the medium and low range rather than doing those high ones. We're also going to do a squat reaching low and then pressing high. If the shoulders are feeling sore you can always just punch straight ahead. I believe I have this coming up here in a little bit. There we go. So you can do a squat, reach low, and then press straight ahead. Now this last exercise of part one, I'm calling the Rockettes. So you're going to do a little twisting of the lower body, reaching those knees up. If you want to add the hop, you can add that hop and those arm movements. Part two, I'm going to start with shoulder taps, which you can do from your feet. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tap my shoulders. You can also do it from your knees. The idea, if you want to add challenge, is to go a little bit slower. We're also going to do dead bugs. I'm going to have my arms and legs up towards the sky. And I'm going to drop one side of arm and leg and then the other side. If you feel like you need a little bit more support at the back, what I do is I lift my shoulders up just a little bit or lift my head up off the ground to flatten my back. You can also bend the knees if you need a little modification. We're also going to do here our third exercise of part two, inchworm, where I'm utilizing my core to bring myself back in. So I use my arms to come out. You can do this against an elevated surface, maybe against the wall. It's going to work the exact same way. Just make sure not to go so far that you put a lot of stress in that low back. So it's going to require you of engaging your back and your core while you're doing this. And then finally, uh, part two, exercise four, doing bicycle. So I'm pedaling as big as I can. Arms either close to the body for greater instability or arms out. Maybe you have it behind your uh, small of the back to protect there. You can also go in reverse with those as well with your feet. So take care and good luck.